This way, that way, motorway, no way. Welcome to Paul at Home. My name is Paul and I'm at home. And today, one of my little characters isn't sure which way is best. I wonder who you would like to see this time. And today, it's Kato. Now, Kato, you're looking um, you're looking a little bit sad today. Well, what, what's what's the problem? You don't know which way is the best. Okay. Well, what have you tried? You've tried this way and that way. You even tried the motorway, and then you found yourself on a street that was going one way. Okay. Well, sometimes there is only one way to do something. But I guess the question is, what is it that you're trying to do? You've tried all sorts of things and you don't know which is the best. Well, why don't you tell me what it is that you're trying to do? Are you trying to find the way to the library or, or, or the park? OK, well, are you, are you trying to find the best way to make a cake? Are you trying to find um, the best way to fix a tyre or to fix the radiator? What, what, what is it that you're trying to do? You're trying to do something that's very unusual. And you think that you might have an answer. Oh, OK. So um, tell, us, tell us, what is it that you're trying to do? You're trying to find out how heavy a whale is. OK, well, you could just um, go to the computer and ask that question online. You think you found a better way. OK, then. So tell us, how do you know how heavy a whale is? You're going to tell us at the end of the video. All right, then. Kato, we will see you later on. God spoke to a prophet, a man called Joe. God said, I want you to go this way. I want you to speak to the people of Nineveh, the great city of Nineveh, and tell them my message. You see, God was disappointed with the way people were living, with the way they were treating each other. And God said that the city would be destroyed in 40 days unless the people of Nineveh changed their ways. But did Joe want to go? He was a prophet. It was his job to tell people God's words. But Joe, he said, nah. Joe, nah. Joe, nah. Yeah. You've guessed it. I'm talking about Jonah. But in today's video, Jonah decided not to go this way. He was heading off in the opposite direction. He tried to escape God and he went that way. Joe, nah, did not want to go to Nineveh. Maybe he was terrified that he would get attacked and beaten up. Or maybe there was another reason. I'll actually talk about that in my next video. But right now, Joe, nah, did not want to go this way and follow God's way. He actually wanted to go that way. So he grabbed his suitcase and headed off in the other direction. Was Jonah going on holiday? Maybe he thought that Wales was a good place to go. Joe, nah, headed to the coast, a town called Joppa right by the sea where he jumped on a boat and headed as far away from God as he could possibly go. Although Jonah soon found out that he could not get away from God. As the boat set sail, a storm hit. The wind blew, the rain rain, the boat was being thrown around from side to side. The sailors were beginning to panic. They were grabbing hold of cargo and throwing it overboard. Meanwhile, Jonah was fast asleep. He was soon woken up because the sailors wanted to know who was to blame for this storm. You see, back then, some people believed that it was someone's fault. So they decided to take lots to see who was to blame. And it was Jonah who drew the short straw. Jonah then confessed. 
who told the sailors that he was trying to run away from God, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry, but the only thing that, that you can do is, is to throw me overboard and, and, and I promise the storm will stop immediately. The sailors did not want to do it, but they took Jonah and they threw him overboard. And just like Jonah had said, the storm stopped instantly. Jonah then sank down into the depths of the sea. But God hadn't forgotten Jonah. God knew Jonah was there and God sent a huge fish. Some people call it a whale, the Bible calls it a big fish. But either way, God sent it and it swallowed Jonah and Jonah was inside the belly of that big fish for three days and three nights. That's three days and three nights to think about the way that Jonah was living. Think about the way Jonah should has been going. And three days later, Jonah prayed. He apologized to God. He said, I will follow your way. I will do what you asked me to do. I will go to Nineveh. And sure enough, it was like the whale had been a taxi for Jonah. The whale sicked Jonah up onto the beach and Jonah made his way to Nineveh. Nineveh was a huge place. So many people. It took days and days for Jonah to travel around Nineveh and tell everybody God's message that they needed to find a new way of living. Well, the rulers of Nineveh and the people of Nineveh soon made a law that they should do things God's way. The whole town of Nineveh was saved. And Jonah, well, he's found his place as a big Bible character. But he was a man who made mistakes. First of all, he tried to run away from God. And in my next video, I'm going to talk about another big mistake that Jonah made. But that's for next time. Right now, the people of Nineveh discovered that God's way was the best way for them. I wonder if the same is true for us. Is God's way the best way for us to live? I wonder what Cato thinks. Let's go and ask him now. So Cato, thank you for coming back. You really enjoyed hearing about Jonah and the people of Nineveh and the great big fish. Okay, so tell me, which was your favourite part? There was lots to like. Okay, so what, what did you like? He ran away from God. He was trapped in a storm, thrown overboard, swallowed by a whale and then covered in sick. Yeah, well, thank you for that. And I think Jonah learned a lesson about doing things God's way. And you think that that's maybe the best way to go. Well, I think it probably is the best way to go. And as a Christian, I believe that following God's way really is the best way. But I, I wonder, what about you? You wonder which way everybody goes as well. Well, hopefully people are going the right way and hopefully you're learning to live your life in the best way possible. But right now, Cato, I'd like to ask you, you were talking about finding out how heavy a whale is. So how do you find out how heavy a whale is? You don't take it to a motorway. No, of course not. You don't take it to a street that says one way. No, well, where do you take it? You take it to the railway. What do you mean you take it to the railway? Oh, the railway. You take it to a railway station. Cato, I don't think that was your very best joke, was it really? No, neither do I. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we will look forward to seeing you again next time.